In this video demonstration, we are going to see how to install and configure WDS service in Windows Server 2016. So what is WDS? Windows Development Service WDS is a software platform that allows you to perform automated network based installation to other computers over a network by using Pixiboot. In other words, we can say we can perform an installation over a network which means that you do not have to install each operating system directly from CD or DVD. So you don't need to walk to the computer to install the operating system on them. You can simply boot the server from the network and it will start deploying the OS on them. The WDS server will store the installation files and help you manage the boot and operating system image files used in the network installation. What are the prerequisites to successfully install and configure WDS server? First, you require Active Directory Domain Service. Means a WDS server must be a member of Active Directory Domain Controller or a domain controller itself. We require one DNS. We require an active DHCP on a network because uh, Windows Deployment Service use PXC, which completely relies on DHCP for IP addressing. As well as we required uh, one NTFS volume on which we can store our boot and installation image. So let's see the uh, procedure to install and configure WDS service on Windows Server 2016. Just open the Server Manager and on a dashboard, click on Add Roles and Features. It will open uh, Add Roles and Features Wizard. On Before You Begin page, click on Next. And select installation type, select role base or feature based installation and then click on next. Select your server on which you are planning to deploy the WDS service. In our case, it is local server that is our domain controller. Click on next. On select server role, select windows deployment service. It will ask that it will add certain features that are required for WDS service. And it's also include the management tools. Click on add features. Click on next. You do not need any additional features, leave it to default and then click on next. Here is the brief overview information about WDS service. It's required DHCP and DNS service are available on your network. Before you begin, you need to configure WDS service by running in the Windows Deployment Service Configuration Wizard or command line utilities wdsutil.exe. Click on next. Select both role services, deployment server as well as transport server and then click on next. And click on install to start the installation. Okay, so installation is succeeded on our local server. Click on close. And now let's see the steps to configure WDS service. Click on tools. Open Windows Deployment Service Console. Expand server. Here, this is the our server. And as you are seeing, there is a yellow explanation box. Windows Deployment Service is not configured. To configure this server, right click on the server and then click configure server. You must be a local administrator to perform this task. Already I mounted Windows 10 IOS image on this virtual machine and as you are seeing on this PC we have a Windows 10 image. Just right click on it and select configure server, configure the WDS service. And before you begin page, click on next. We want Active Directory integrated and that's why I'm going to select integrated with Active Directory. Here it will be a remote installation folder location where we want to store our installation image. And for this demonstration, we have a e-drive as you are seeing on a e-drive we do not have anything so we want to store this uh, folder on a e-drive okay so the folder name will be e-drive slash remote install click on next now it's about the proxy dsp server if dsp server is running on the same server check box the following box and use dsp tool to add appropriate pxc options to all dsp and dsp version 6 scopes so we have a active dsp server on this server and that's why i'm going to select the both checkbox Click on next. Now what about the PXC server initial settings? You want to select respond to all client computer, known and unknown, but you want for unknown computers, it requires administrative approval for unknown computers. And then once administrator approve, then the installation will be begun on unknown computers. Click on next. Click on finish. Let's manually start the service and click on start. And then successfully started. And let's come back on uh, eDrive. We have a one folder, a remote install, and inside the folder we have a certain subfolders like boot, image, management, store, template, and WDS client unattended. Okay. Let's add one uh, boot image to deploy the operating system, and we have a Windows 10 image. Just right click on it and select add boot image to add the boot image. 
The default boot and install image boot.vim and install.vim are located on the installation DVD in the source folder. Click on browse, click on this PC, select the our DVD drive inside, double click on a source folder and here we have a boot.vim. Open click on next and windows 10 so image name will be microsoft windows 10 setup click on next click on next this will add the boot image to our wds server and that's it the selected image were successfully uploaded to our server click on finish now we have our one uh, windows 10 setup image let's add the install image just right click on it and select add install image you can specify the image group name let's specify client os click on next Click on browse and select the install.vim. Okay, click on next. Here we have a Windows 10 Enterprise Edition with x64 bit architecture. Description will be Windows 10 Enterprise Evolution and this will be the default image, default name and description for the selected image. Click on next. Click on next. And first it is going to check the integrity of the source install image file and then just start the uploading of the image file for our WDS server. And that's it. Install.vim image has been successfully uploaded to our server. Click on finish. And now our WDS server is ready to deploy the Windows 10 operating system by using WDS service. So in the next video, we'll see how to deploy Windows 10 operating system by using this WDS server. So that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.